of the variance the end of one so our learning of journey is to describe that the difference between the conductors accelerators and semiconductor define the difference of potential electromotive force and voltage draw the symbol used to represent voltage Define the resistor, identify the unit used to measure voltage, define resistance, identify characteristics of resistance in the circuit, identify the unit of our measuring resistance. Draw the symbol use uh, to represent the resistance in circuit. So I know some of you have a, a background already for electricity and other topics. But we will go back to the base. So the electricity, 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 electricity is form is of form. Energy. Or of energy resulting from the existence of large particles such as electrons or protons, either statistically as an electrical charge or dynamically at Okay, so the definition of electricity is a flow of charge usually or can be carried by free flow electrons. Negatively charged electrons are used to help to atom of conductive materials with a little push. We can free electrons from atoms and get them to flow in general uniform direction. So, paano nga ba sila nagkakaroon ng Direction. So, given an appropriate external force, the movement of electrons is from the negatively charged atom to positively charged atom. This flow of electrons is called the current. So, the symbol the current the symbol of current then you know that represent the current. So the amount of current is the sum of the charges of moving electrons at even a certain point. So the flow of electrons is current electron current flow from negative terminal to the uh, the positive and so only in natin eh? so yung flow of electron is from the negative to the positive so yung tawag din itong electron flow or electron flow current. And then, meron naman tayo tinatawag na conventional current. Yan. Conventional current or conventional current flow. Yan naman yung behaves as if the positive charge there is so, mas nakasanayan lang ang iba. 
na ganyan. Okay. Nag-flow yung current. Pero pag sinabi na electron flow is ito. So wala naman kung nagkain na yun. Kaya kung saan sila mag-flow. Okay. Rep uh, rep representation yung yun. Kasi nung una ito yung ginagama. Kung ba ito yun. So yun yung ako na yan. Pero as in this cover, tumadaan siya nag-affirm the negative. Okay. So as you can see here, an electron has a very small charge for the charge of 6.4 times 10 and to 18 and that point is added to them. So it's down to a column. So when the column of charge move past a single point in one second, kaya tawag na siyang ampere. So, the ampere is named by the French physicist named Andre Marie Ampere of 1775 to 1836. The current, if you have a measurement, you can call it amperes. But if you have a flow, you can call it So, then this, and the is in. Now we have voltage. When there is an excess of electrons or negative charge at one end of a conductor, the efficiency of electrons from the positive charge at the two opposite ends, a current flows between two ends. So the current flow from the conductor known as the persists. So the source that creates this excess of electrons at one end and the deficiency at the other end represents the potential. Then, nakakaroon tayo ng potential difference. So, the potential is the ability of the source to perform electrical work. Okay, so, yun lang. Pag sinabi din potential difference, and then to positive and to negative. So, umitin lang natin, ha? Okay, siyempre, from the source, Ayan, meron tayo excess electron na nagpo-flow, negative charge, and sa one end, merong deficiency. So, nagkakaroon na ng potential. Okay, tawa. So, voltage, actual work accomplished in the circuit is the result of current of potential available at the end of the conductor. So the difference of potential is referred to electromotive force or EMF. So the transmission voltage. And the symbol E is used in the electronics to represent the voltage. And the unit for measuring voltage is E volt okay, or V. So yun din, pero mas madalas na ginagamit pag hinabing B may volt na. Pero at um, electronics, ginagamit pa din yung E. Eh, ah, sa lumang term to. So E or E is A, E. So meron kang A kind of formative force. Pero yun nga, para hindi ka nalito, pinagawa ko lang din ng 8 volts direct, for example. So, wait natin. Kinawag natin volts. Bale siya kay Tom Alessandro Volta, 7.43 and this level, I invent on the first cell to produce the heat. Initially, voltage is the force that moves the electrons in the circuit. So, Pag inis natin yung voltage as the pressure or pump that moves the, elect the electrons. Now we have the resistance. So every material offers some resistance or opposition to current flow. So the degree of the resistance of materials depends on its size, shape, and temperature. 
So materials with a low resistance are called conductor. Conductors have many free electrons and offer a little resistance to current flow. So I previously mentioned Ito pala. Sorry. Kabalik tayo. Yung mga silver, copper, gold, aluminum, tungsten, and iron yung nitro. Are examples of good conductor. So, ito lang yun natin. Um, as a resistance, as the free electrons move through the circuit, they encounter atoms that do not really give up the electron. So, of the resistance ay yung opposition to the flow of electrons. Okay? Symbol na ay R. So, pag nagkaroon na ng measure, means the resistance, yung tawag na siyang Ohms. So, a unit name for the German thesis towards your Ohms. So, let's take 87 to 854. And then, mag-nation na nakita, uh, yung symbol ng Ohms is the Kaya kung makikita nyo, meron tayo isang form, 470 ohms, ganyan lang kasi na sulat. 7 ohms, yan. So, as mentioned kanina, sabi ko, uh, ito yung mga materials na gawin conductivity from silver is the highest and the most no. So, conductivity of an atom depends on the valence bond. The greater the number of the electrons in the valence field, the less it conducts. So, kung meron kayo history or background sa mga valence bonds, yung atom having a 7 electrons in the valence field is less conductive than an atom having 3 electrons in the valence field. So, in electrons in the valence shell can gain energy. If these electrons gain enough energy from external force, they can leave the atom of uh, free electron, moving randomly from atom to So, nakita naman natin um, the chart kanina, yung silver, copper, and gold are one way. Or mirror some valence of one. So, although silver is the best conductor because it's free electrons and more loosely bond, although si silver nga yung pinaka best na conductor, mas madalas naman natin nakikita si copper because mas madali siyang mahanap ng material from mining. Siyempre si silver. Mahirap and then mas mahal. Kaya mas madalas ginagamit for conductors. Madalas is the copper. Siyempre, pag gold din naman, same lang din, mas mahal si gold. So, the copper is more cheaper and madami yung nakukuha in the mining. So, meron naman tiles, insulators. So, the opposite of the conductor, syempre, yun yung prevent ng flow ng electricity. It are the insula insulators. So, insulators are stabilized by absorbing the valence control. A valence electrons from other atoms to fill their valence cells and eliminate the electrons. So, kung nakikita nyo dito, yung mga insulation properties of work materials na ginagawin for insulation. So, from Ica, the highest and for silicon air, the lowest. So, yung Ica is the best insulator because it has the fewest three electrons in the valence shell. A perfect insulator will have atom with full valence shell. So, it means it cannot gain electrons. And when we talk about semiconductor, 
uh, semiconductors, neither good conductors and nor good insulators, but are important because they can be altered to function as conductors or insulators. So silicon and germanium are the two semiconductor material. And additionally, okay, si silicon, uh, kailangan lang ito ng 0.7 para mag-conduct ng electricity. And si germanium, ay pagkakatanda ko ay 0.3. So, what do I mean by that? So, sa semiconductor, nandiyan si diode. Okay. So, sinasabi na nga nila is good conductor and insulator. So, pag may nag-flow na current may diode, kailangan lang yan ng 0.7 volts okay, para may mag-flow na electricity. And yun din naman, kaya din siya good insulator kasi uh, pag sa mga semiconductor like diode, natuklaw lang siya in one direction. Ibig sabihin, hindi makakapag-flow back yung current na dadala kay semiconductor device or si diode dahil binablock niya yung way pabalik. So, ulitin lang din natin ang ating napag-usapan dito. So, the summary, the flow of electron is called current current is represented by the symbol I. The charge of column is 6.24 10 raised to 18. Yung, yung ano, uh, column na tinatawa. An ampere of current is measured when one column of charge moves past into the given one second. So, yung sabihin, halitin lang natin, pag nagkaroon na ng flow, okay, ng 1 second, meron na siyang 1 column. Yung 1 column na yun, ito yung card here. Ampere is represented by the symbol A. Current is measured in amperes. An uh, electric current flow through the conductor when there is an excess of electrons at one end and the frequency is on the other end. A source that supplies excess electrons represents a potential or electromotive force. The potential or electromotive the force is referred as voltage. Voltage is the force that moves the electrons in the circuit. So, we natin yun na push no mismo electron. So, the symbol E is represents the voltage. Symbol E, yeah. the voltage. And the volt is used pag the unit na si voltage. Resistance is the opposition of the current flow. Resistance is represented by the symbol R. All the materials offer some resistance to current flow. The resistance of materials is dependent on the material current, rate, and temperature. Conductors are materials with low resistance, and insulators are materials with high resistance. The resistance is measured in ohm, and yung symbol ni resistance ay represent ng ohm.
So, gagawin nyo to Answer this part. For the module 1. Well, this will be posted. Now, meron tayo dito sa multimeter. Um, I know that meron na kayong background dito. So, please read the different parts of multimeter and what are they using. That's all for module one.